On my first day of the week, I prepare myself to go on my last day of placement at Nottingham City Hospital. ready to go to the hospital where my placement is. I have my lunchbox, I have my bottle of water and now I'm heading towards the bus stop where I'm going to catch my first bus. I have another one to catch and then that's it. I won't be able to show you what I do inside due to confidentiality. Before starting my shift, I wanted to tell you that I don't want to be here. I'm not enjoying my course and I just want to finish my degree. And I've never wanted to become a nurse. I've thought about dropping out so many times. I don't know how long I'll be able to hold tight since I have so many other placements. Anyway, Let's get through this day. The following day I revise for my exam. Can you please leave me alone? I'm trying to revise for my exam. Bye! I've done my exam, it was in biopharmacology and it was a bit hard considering that it's an online home exam so they made that on purpose and now you've seen how my life is so sedentary and it revolves around a laptop and internet so I decided to show you a place I haven't realized it yet, I took you to Nottingham Castle where we have some history with Robin Hood. I really really like this part of Nottingham it's so photogenic and behind me we have an elite area called Park Estate and behind that we have Nottingham Castle that over there is Nottingham Castle and it reminds me a little bit of Edinburgh Castle If it wasn't for you wanting to watch more of my videos and explore Nottingham through my videos, I would have stayed home watching YouTube videos, wasting my time on my laptop and laying on my bed, sleeping. I was going back home and then I saw this place that I always wanted to explore. It looked really interesting from the bus. So I got off and I always thought it was part of Park Estate and it is and if we go back we are going back to Nottingham Castle where we were before and like I said this is the elite the wealthy part of Nottingham with really expensive houses and the area is really beautiful of course 
and we can see the city from above. I think I'm going to wait here for a little bit longer to witness the sunset. I'm done with my second placement, I've done my exam and now I'm rewarding myself with some sushi. On Wednesday I decide to go to Lidl to buy some ingredients as I'm planning to bake something. I spent six pounds in total and this stuff is heavy. I have an online seminar and while I listen to my seminar, I'm also going to make a marmalade pie, which is also known as jam tart. And in Italian, we say crostata di marmellata. I forgot to buy Livieto, which is, I think it's baking soda. Baking powder. As you saw, my marmalade pie doesn't really look like a marmalade pie. I haven't put any strips on top of it. My dough was really sticky. It was so hard to work with it. Hence why I haven't applied those strips and but I think it's going to be edible anyway. On Thursday I decide to exercise after eating my entire jump pie. I do some belly fat exercise and I put my shoes on to go to a park called Wollaton Park. This part of me exercising is a little bit deceiving. I made it look like I'm having a productive week, but I only exercise four or five times a year. I feel very lucky to have this park next to my house. I should come here more often to exercise, especially in the morning. For those who are wondering how I exercise with my winter jacket, my jacket can be transformed into a lighter jacket. Anyway, I take a shower and I have something to eat. On Friday, I catch up on online lectures that I skipped. I have a seminar. I love online lectures. I don't need to get out of the house, I can watch them and pause them anytime I want and I love it. After that I edit this video that you're currently watching and I end my week by smoking an incense stick.
if you made this far then it means you are a real one before closing up this video i wanted to tell you a few things so i know at the beginning of my video i said i don't enjoy my degree and i hate going on placement and you might be asking the reason why yes i told you that i have different dreams and goals but i didn't tell you everything i don't want to wake up so early in the morning and work for so many hours it's 12 hours plus if you add two hours of commuting it's 14 hours and i value sleep a lot i would also like to work for myself and be my own boss i've been working in many places and i've been following orders and i don't want to do that anymore nursing is a lot of people and i prefer to work with less people and use my creativity i'm a visual learner as well i like to create things that are visual like video editing but also i think web designing and web development or even graphic designing would suit the things i like i chose nursing because when i was in college i knew i wanted to go to university but i didn't know what to choose i had many options and i didn't like any of them. I spent so many years in front of books that I wanted to study for a bit and go on employment and then earn money. When I've done my research about nursing before applying, I was, you know, convinced by phrases like, oh, you are going to study abroad for a few weeks. You are going to learn about anatomy and physiology, pharmacology, which are all subjects that I love and employment is secured since nurses are in demand. Am I ungrateful? Yes, I think I am since so many people have lost their jobs and I don't appreciate what I'm doing. Anyway, having said that, I want to also tell you that at the end of my videos I want to ask you a question and I'm also going to answer one of your questions about me or even philosophical questions they are all accepted so my first question is if you had two choices what would you choose love or money and why and then one of the most popular and requested questions that I received is what ethnicity are you where are you from so I'm originally from Bangladesh but I was born and raised in Italy in Rome I feel a little bit of both when I'm in Italy though I feel like I'm Bangladeshi when I'm in Bangladesh I feel like I'm Italian and now in the UK I feel more Italian <laughs> the way i behave the way i think as well i spent so many years with my italian friends in education school and these factors influence the way i am finally let me know if a week in my life in nottingham is the type of video you would like to watch more thank you for watching i'll see you all in the next video